Very well. This is Dr. Adrian Tadadekar, lecturer in Mechanical Engineering, Government Polytechnic Pune. Today we are going to deal with hydrostatic forces on the surfaces. So, whenever any mass of fluid is exposed to any surface, it exists a hydrostatic force. You can see here that force is known as total pressure. So, this is a misnomer. And total pressure is nothing but a force. And the point at which this total pressure acts, it is known as center of pressure. So total pressure and center of pressure, these are the two terms that we will be dealing with in this lecture. Now consider this simple example, this is a tank and it is filled with water up to this level. See, this is the pre-liquid surface. So we can see here, the vertical surface of this tank is experiencing or having water in different columns, you can see, right? And we know pressure increases linearly as the depth increases from pre-surface. So at this particular point, this much is the height h1 from pre-surface. So the total pressure acting on this point will be in proportion to this height h1. Here it will be slightly more because height is more. So as you go down, the height increases. The total pressure, which is force acting on this vertical surface, will goes on increasing. And we also know this formula: pressure, simple pressure, is equal to W into h. So pressure is proportional to height. And total pressure, which is a force, mind you, know, this is force. So that is equal to pressure into area. So just replace the P by WH, so W into H into area. So the general formula for total pressure on the surface becomes WAH. We can position any body, uh, regular or irregular shape body, in three positions. Like this horizontal position, like this vertical position, and the third one inclined position. So let us try to derive the equation for total pressure on the surface which is inclined either horizontally or vertically on in inclined position. So as you can see here, this case is similar to this. We have a horizontal surface which is immersed into the body. Right? This is the horizontal surface and if you look from the top, the shape is like this. We have purposely considered it as a irregular shape. So that the same formula can be easily applied to any um, shape area. So this is that plate and if we look from the top, this is how it looks. You must be acquainted with the term CG, center of gravity. So let us say this is this CG. It is here. So the distance of CG from the free surface, we are going to denote it by a special term called as X bar. Right? Then we have just now seen center of pressure. So the point of application of this total pressure is center of pressure. So this is that point, center of pressure. This is the point where the total pressure will be acting on the surface. So, this is nothing but this point on the surface. And the distance we are introducing now another term. The distance of center of pressure from the free surface is h bar. So, I have introduced two more terms x bar and h bar. These are the standard terms. x bar always stands for distance of centroid from the free surface and h bar always stands for distance of cp of that surface from the free surface free liquid surface right and the general height i have shown here by the term h so this is the horizontally placed body which is having a water column over it of height h now as it is horizontally placed, every point on this surface is at a distance of h from the free surface. 
So again, if we apply the similar formula, then the total pressure P, capital P means total pressure, that is force, is equal to the pressure acting on this surface into area. So pressure P is equal to W H. So here again, height is H only. So W H is the pressure, and let us say area of this body is A. So it is W A H. So, the total pressure acting on this horizontal surface is P is equal to W A H. Now, here you can see C G is also at a distance H from the free surface, which we express in terms of X bar. So, I can replace here this H by X bar because in all the three cases we are going to be having this term X bar. That's why here also I convert that formula in the form of x bar. So as h is equal to x bar, the formula becomes p a x bar. And what is the unit of this uh, total pressure? Don't forget, it is a force, so it will always be newton. So this is a very simple case. The total pressure, that is force, acting on a horizontal body, is nothing but w a x bar. Where W is the specific weight of that liquid. If it is water, then nine eight one zero newton per meter cube. If it is any other liquid other than water, and we know specific gravity of that liquid, say it is S one, then we will have to write S one into W because then S one into W will become the specific weight of that liquid. So then S one into W. Into area of that body, into distance of its CG from the free surface, which in this particular case is H. So W A X bar is the formula for total pressure. We will come to H bar afterwards. Let us now shift our focus to another case, that is a body which is immersed vertically. So now you can see here the body which is immersed is like this. If you observe from the front side, this is the surface. If you take a side view of this uh, surface, it is this irregular shape body. Right? Now the problem is the height of water or any liquid acting on this surface is variable. It is changing. Say for this example here, the height is the H one. Here it is acting is H2, H3, H4. So there is no constant height acting on this vertical, vertically immersed body. That's why we cannot directly apply this formula W A H because H is not constant here; it is variable. So we need to apply some mathematical uh, principles to find out the formula for this particular case. Let us say this. Body, a regular shape body, is divided into n number of these small pieces, as shown by the hash line, right? Section line. So we have distributed this total a regular shape body into n number of n infinitesimally small area. That area is d, which you can calculate if this thickness is dx. And this breadth is b, then this area d is nothing but b into d x. So this d a, d a is small area. That's why I have taken this uh, prefix d. So d a is equal to b d x. Right? Now consider this particular strip. The height of water on this uh, strip is say x. Let us say it is x. Right? So this Water is acting on this area B D X or in short D A, and pressure always acts in normal direction, perpendicular direction. So the total pressure acting on this thing D P, say it is D P. So D P that is total pressure 
acting on this train. Now here we can apply this principle of this integral because you can consider this small strip as if it is immersed horizontally and the height acting on this uh, strip is x. So dp is equal to by applying this formula w. Now instead of h it is x and instead of area a it is d. So I have taken similar terms here. So the total pressure acting on this small strip is equal to dp is equal to wxd. In this same fashion, we can calculate the total pressure acting on all such strips, this strip, this strip, this strip. This. So we can go on calculating the total pressure on every strip and then we will add all of them together. When we add the total pressure acting on every strip, then the total area will be nothing but this area of the whole body. Right? So we can apply the integration principle of mathematics here. So if we integrate this particular equation, then we will get the total pressure acting on the whole body. So here you can see uh, integration of dp will be p. The group as it is constant will come out of the integration sign and under the integration it is x dA. dA is area and x is distance of that area from the free surface. Now observe carefully, this term is called as first moment of area. It is the first moment of area. Area into perpendicular distance between free surface and the area. And that can be replaced by integration of x dA is equal to the area of the whole body A multiplied by the distance of its CG from the free surface which is X bar. So you can replace this integration term by this A X bar term and W is already there. So total pressure becomes now W A X bar. Again it is similar to what we have derived in the earlier case. But here h and x bar are same, here it is not the case. Everywhere the height of liquid acting on the part of the body is very increasing as we go down. So x bar is distance of Cg on the free surface. So again the formula for total pressure becomes W A x bar. We have, already, we have purposely taken a regular shape body. If it is a regular shape body like circle, rectangle, triangle, then it, we know the formula to calculate area, to uh, find out the location of CG and then the S bar. So that becomes very easy. So this is the formula for total pressure acting on the body. Now let us uh, come to center of pressure. Here in case of horizontally immersed surface we have seen that the distance of Cp is same as distance of Cg which is same as the general height. That's why in this case there is no uh, big issue as such because the line through which this total pressure is going to act passes through the center gaps. So here Cp and Cg coincides, they are in the same line. But here the case is different. This is vertically immersed body and we have seen as we go down the intensity of pressure varies as height varies. And that's why Cp will be on the lower side as compared to Cg. Cg is the point where the whole mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated. And Cp is the point where this total pressure is going to act. So as we have seen that as we go down the height increases and that's why the intensity of pressure increases and the total pressure acting on the surface increases that's why Cp will always be uh, on a lower side than Cg. Let us try to find out the formula for H bar. So again consider here the same strip, the small strip. Right? Dp on which the total pressure acting is Wx into D. 
so this total pressure is acting here normal to the surface so this total pressure is again force is acting from this distance x from the free surface so we know moment force equal to distance so the moment of force on this strip is nothing but dp that is total pressure into the perpendicular distance x which is nothing but dp what we have written for it w x d right into 1 over x so it becomes w x square here it should be d a sorry w square and similarly if we go on calculating the moment of uh, the force on every strip and then sum it together then the summation of moment of uh, the force on every strip uh, is equal to the total moment that is the total pressure acting on the whole body into the distance of its point of application from the free surface so we can calculate the total moment by integrating this equation if we integrate it becomes integration of dp into x is equal to w x square da is equal to w's constant taking out of integration sign x square d see here it was the first integration of uh, first moment of area now here it is the second moment of area which is nothing but moment of inertia so this integration of x square da is equal to moment of inertia along which axis because we are considering this as axis oo so this is i o o so integration of x square da that is the moment of inertia along the axis o o so now i will drop this so we have seen the total moment acting on this uh, surface is equal to total pressure p and the distance of its point of application the point of application is here cp and its distance is h bar so this is p h bar and this p h bar is equal to what just now we have calculated w into i o o from this equation we have calculated right this is from the principle of moments that we have taken so p into h bar is equal to w into i o o or this h bar is equal to w i o o upon t or even we can replace this p by its formula because p is equal to w a x bar so w a x bar again this w w will get cancelled the ultimate heat becomes i o o upon a x bar what is i o moment of inertia at this axis but most of the time we know the formulas for moment of inertia passing through its own centroid so this is another axis say g g right now i can transfer the moment of inertia from this axis to this axis how with this formula i o o i o o is equal to i g g that is moment of inertia at this axis is equal to moment of inertia at this axis plus a into x bar square area of this body a into square of distance between them so the distance between this and this axis is x bar x bar so you can replace this i o o by this formula so now it becomes i g g 
प्लस ए एक्स बार स्क्वेर अपॉन ए एक्स बार अल्टीमेटली इट बिकम्स एक्स बार स्क्वेर अपॉन ए एक्स बार मीन्स एक्स बार प्लस आई जी जी अपॉन ए तो एक बार इज इक्वल टू एक्स बार प्लस आई जी जी अपॉन ए एक्स बार ए एक्स बार दिस इज अ पॉजिटिव टर्म राइट सो फ्रॉम दिस स्टेटमेंट यू कैन प्रूव दैट एच बार द डिस्टेंस ऑफ सी पी फ्रॉम फ्री सर्फेस विल ऑलवेज बी ग्रेटर दैन एक्स बार डिस्टेंस ऑफ सी जी फ्रॉम फ्री सर्फेस बाय दिस मच अमाउंट विच इज अ पॉजिटिव राइट यू कैन पुट सम वैल्यू ऑफ आई जी जी इन एक्स बार इयर सो इट विल ऑलवेज अ पॉजिटिव वैल्यू दैट वे दैट्स वे एच बार विल ऑलवेज बी ग्रेटर दैन एक्स बार right just a uh, uh, point to ponder here if you go on increasing the distance x bar so here of course it will increase but in the denominator here it will also increase and the value of this ratio will go on decreasing as you increase the x bar so whenever you immerse any body deeper and deeper then this factor becomes Lower and lower, and then CP tries to coincide with CG. That is just a point to remember. So here we have calculated a formula for H bar, center of pressure from the free surface. Now we will go for another third case. We will find out uh, the equation for total pressure and center of pressure for a body which is immersed in an inclined position okay good welcome again now we will find out the total pressure and center of pressure on a inclined surface so here is that inclined surface from the side view it appears that this is the shape of that inclined surface We have purposely taken it as a irregular shaped body, which is positioned at an angle of theta from the main free surface. So, so this is that one. So front view is like a strip because it has no thickness as such, and the side view shows the shape of that body. Again, as we have seen in the previous case. Suppose this is CG, so this 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 is that point on this strip, and the distance of CG from the free surface is x bar. Suppose this is CP, distance of CP from free surface is h bar. Now again the problem is same. We cannot uh, find the total pressure by a simple formula because uh, the body is immersed. at an inclination of theta still the height of water acting on every part is very is increasing as you go down and that's why we cannot apply a simple formula to calculate the total pressure so again we will uh, come to that particular principle we will divide this irregular shape area into n number of strips of small thickness the area of that small strip is d so again consider this strip here so the total pressure acting on this small strip is dp here is capital p which is total pressure acting over the whole body now we are focusing on this small strip so the total pressure acting on this strip if it is represented by dp then the formula for dp again as we have seen in the last example w x is the height of water the height should always be a perpendicular distance so this is that perpendicular distance x into da which is the area of the strip now you can see here the body is at an angle of theta so i have shown here for your ready purpose so sin theta is nothing but opposite upon 
I put it here. So x upon y. Here is the triangle. So it can be represented as sin theta is equal to x upon y or x bar upon y bar or h bar upon y t. Now what is y, y bar and y? We have considered another axis which is parallel to this string. And we have shown the distance of this strip from this axis let us say O O as Y. See here, this is inclined to this uh, O dash O dash mean. Right? And this particular point is at a distance X from this free surface. For some reason, we want to convert this case for calculation of this uh, total pressure formula into uh, a simpler situation. So we have considered another axis O, o. Now distance of this strip from this surface is y. Distance of CG from this axis is y bar. And distance of CP from this axis is y. And relation between x and y, x bar and y bar, x bar and y t is like this. Sign here. Right? So this relation we have already established using the trigonometric principle. Now see here, total pressure acting on this strain is equal to W x into D. Let us replace this x by y sin theta. x is equal to y sin theta. So which is nothing but W into y sin theta into D. Right? So the total pressure acting on this strain is equal to this. Now, Similarly, we have so many strips here, we will calculate the total pressure on every strip and then we will add it together. So, it will give us the total pressure acting on the whole body, which is nothing but integration of this part. So, the total pressure acting on this whole body can be obtained by integrating this formula, similar to what we have done with the previous thing. So, it then becomes total pressure acting on this whole body P, but as you can see here, W, w and sin theta are constant, that's why I have taken it out of integration side and here it lies y d. y means this perpendicular distance of this strip dA from this O O. And again, as we have seen in the last case, integration of y d, which is the first moment of area. Right? So this integration of y d is nothing but integration of y d is equal to area of the whole body multiplied by distance of its cg from this axis o which here we have denoted by y bar right so here this total pressure becomes w sin theta y bar into a right now again observe carefully y bar sin theta is equal to x bar so i can replace this term by x bar so i am rearranging so it again becomes w a x bar so here also the formula for total pressure acting on the inclined body is same W x bar. But mind when x bar is this distance. Right? So in every case, if we place this body only in a vertical position, the value of x bar will change. Here it will change when it is uh, inverse in inclined position. So even though the formula is same every time, the value of x bar will be different. That's why answer will be different. Right? So it is now very clear that the formula for total pressure acting on horizontal, vertical or inclined body is same and that is equal to W A X bar. Now let us try to find out C P center of pressure that is H bar. Right. So again take this strip and the total pressure acting on this strip is dp. 
take its moment on this area on this axis why this axis because when we take moment we always take a distance the shortest distance perpendicular is this x is not perpendicular distance on this stick because it is in inclined position that's why all the principles that we have seen previously or given by the deriving this equation so the distances are always the perpendicular distance that's why we are consider this axis so this uh, total pressure acting on this stick is dv and it is acting for a, from a distance y from this axis so moment force into distance is equal to dp into y so i can put the formula for dp that we already seen that was equal to uh, w y sin theta now we got this w y sin theta v right this is the formula for dp w y sin theta v into y so this is the moment acting on this stick so in the same uh, way we can find out the moment acting on every stick and if we sum all these equations then we will get the total moment acting on this whole body which is nothing but the total pressure acting on the body e into its distance of point of application from the axis from the free surface the edge bar but in this case right now we have shifted our focus to this particular case this axis so it will become p into yp right here because cp lies at a distance yp from this place so p into yp will be the uh, total moment which we will get after integrating this equation so you can see here y and y becomes y square so integration of w sin theta y square p this w sin theta is constant that's why i will bring it out of the integration side and so it becomes w into y is equal to w sin theta y square v again y square v as we have seen last time this is the second moment of area which is nothing but moment of inertia at this axis because yp the perpendicular distance is with reference to this axis so we can replace this y square da we can replace this y square da by i o o this we have taken as o now so it is the moment of inertia at this axis so p into y p is equal to w sin theta i o o or y p is equal to w sin theta i o o upon p again moment of inertia at this axis but we want the moment of inertia or rather we are very much conversant with the formulas of moment of inertia about an axis passing through its own cg igg so again by transfer of momentum transfer of moment principle so we can write here instead of i o o we can write here i o o is equal to igg plus a y bar square right plus a y bar square so now i replace the formula of all the terms here so w sin theta into this uh, bracket i g g plus a i bar square and in the denominator it is p so it, it was w x bar or in terms of y it was w a and y bar sin theta right it 
plus W A X bar. But instead of X bar, I am using the term Y bar. So X bar is equal to Y bar sin theta. Okay. So you can see here sin theta will get cancelled. That will get cancelled. So from this equation, we derive into this case. So Y P is equal to Y bar plus I G G upon A Y bar. Now again, observe this trigonometry. Uh, we don't want this equation in terms of Y P Y bar like this because these are for reference purposes. The original distance that we are going to use is x x bar or h bar. So let us uh, find out the uh, alternative equations for Y P. So from this trigonometry. You can see y p is equal to y p is equal to h bar upon sin theta, right? And y bar is equal to x bar upon sin theta. Okay. So we plug this equation into this uh, equation. So we get y p now h bar upon sin theta. Is equal to y bar is x bar upon sin theta plus i g g a y bar is a into x bar upon sin theta. Right. So I can take uh, this sin theta on the numerator side because it is at the denominator of the denominator. So I can take it from here to here. Right. So h bar upon sin theta is equal to x bar upon sin theta plus i g g sin theta upon x bar. So I can multiply both the terms by sin theta. So when I multiply this by sin theta, it will disappear, and this by sin theta, it will disappear, and it will get multiplied by one more sin theta. So it will become Sin square theta. So ultimately, our formula becomes h bar is equal to x bar plus i g g sin square theta upon a x bar. Previously, for the vertically immersed body, it was h bar is equal to x bar plus i g g upon x bar. Now it is i g g sin square theta. Upon x bar. So here you can observe the change in formula for h bar in case of uh, the body which is immersed at an angle theta with the free surface. Again, this is our positive integer. So here also h bar will always be greater than x bar. So here we come to an end of the derivation of total pressure and center of pressure. I will summarize once again. अपन क्या पहले हैं? Horizontal case में थे एक surface होता, that surface was तो हाँ जो surface है, horizontal ही ठेला होता अपन, ये चार पानी की height जब h होती, right? So W A H W into H is pressure and into area के लिए तो force। तो यहाँ से center से उतना हाँ से तो यहाँ से distance से उड़ा सकता, तो center of pressure जो उड़ा से तो हाँ से उतनी थी, तो it was same h That's why, in this case, we have W A X bar half of it. What is the vertical inverse case of cell? This is the actual height of the cell, this is the actual height of the cell, this is the actual height of the cell. But the height of the cell is changed. I mean, this is the height of the cell. The height of the cell is the pressure of the cell, the total pressure of the cell. What is the problem? What is the problem? The cell is distributed in a few small strips. I have to take a strip of the total pressure. कि एक स्ट्रिप जर पकड़ ली तो ये उधर जर वाले केस होते हैं थोड़ा सा एप्रोक्सिमेशन है पर कुछ जोर जाते हैं जो तो यह स्ट्रिप फोर्स कर लो यह स्ट्रिप फोर्स कर लो प्रत्येक स्ट्रिप फोर्स कर लो अंततः ना ऐड किया समेशन किया मुझे इंटीग्रेशन किया तो चलो पर तो पहला फॉर्मूला में है ना ड ये टोटल प्रेशर जहाँ पॉइंट पे एक्ट हो तो आप पॉइंट नहीं भी सीजीसा खाली सही या फिर लॉजिकली करता है पर आपने तो फॉर्मूले नहीं सुधार प्रूफ किया 
मापन का जो पर हाई रही है या रही है और अन्य सा हाइट एच रही है मुझे अच्छा है एक हमारा मोमेंट हाँ टोटल प्रेशर डीपी इनटू एच से या स्ट्रिप फॉर टोटल प्रेशर डीपी वन इनटू एच वन इथे डीपी टू इनटू एच टू अन्य यह प्रत्येक चीज एडिशन की एडिशन में जो पर इंटीग्रेशन कलाजर इंटीग्रेट के लापन तो इथे मोमेंट ऑफ इन about it CG, axis passing through CG, to open it and in the vertical case, H bar is the formula, H bar is equal to X bar plus IGG upon X bar. We have to be inclined. 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 अरे प्रिग्नेटरी वापर मैं इतने जैसे का डिस्टेंसेस है या या डिस्टेंसेस लानी ये ट्रांसफर के और पर फॉर्मूला सो आलावा तो अपना टोटल प्रेशर ई साल सेम साल आलावा डब्ल्यू ए एक्स बार अरे एक्स बार साल आलावा तो एक्स बार प्लस आईजीजी साइंस क्वेयर थीटा अपॉन ए एक्स बार अतः इधर वाला कुछ � और कुछ लोग शेप जर दिन आसे अतः ऐसा टोटल एरिया तुम्हारा नहीं पाएगी या मैं कुछ लोग शेप दिन आसे कर ऐसा एरिया कैसा कर ऐसा ये आप लोग नहीं पाएंगे या नंतर तेजस सीजी से डिस्टेंस करता है लगाइए एक्स बार करता है फिर और अपने डब्ल्यू पर इस प्रॉब्लम में दिला जाना नहीं दिस इज़ अ स्टैंड तो तेरे से स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी में इतने जी क्यों माँ तेरे से सोता तो स्पेसिफिक वेट में इतने जी रेट क्यों माँ डेंसिटी में इतने जी तेरे इतने जी या तीन पे की वेट में इतने जी आगे ऐसे तो प्रश्न से इसे स्टैंडर्ड पार्ट है मतलब हे माइंस अल हे माइंस अल हे माइंस अल के अपन टोटल प्रेशर करते ह रेक्टेंगल से तो इतनों हाँ जीजी ऐसे से पसंद हो सीजी तो ये जा आई जीजी मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्जी ये जा फॉर्मूला में पे तो जब मैं जा ला तो जा ला तो मैं एक बार सुधा कर देता और जब ऑफ कोर्स इंक्लाइड केस है तो थीटा में पे थीटा या मैं या तीन ही प्रकार से जा केसेस हैं ये जा वर्षों से उत्तर अपने सॉल्यूशन जर W or specific gravity or specific weight of that liquid or density. A in the big cake might be the area might be the body side. X bar distance of its CG from C surface karta ala beje. I interpret karta hai to. I GG moment of inertia sa formula might be the. And the inclined case as well. The theta might be the. Formula is up to the summer ahead. The each other point QT is the yogi taklia. So again the XS unit to the double. The point. टोटल प्रेशर पी और सेंटर ऑफ प्रेशर एच बार ये दोनों ही काट शक्त सो विस्टॉप हियर इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर्स वी विल सॉल्व सम न्यू वेरिएंट्स